Let's see how we can connect to a MySQL database server from VS Code and how we can run queries in that. First, open your okay. First, open your Visual Studio Code. I had accidentally opened this. I just close this, and now click this button here or click Control Shift plus X to open your extensions. And once the extensions are open, just search for MySQL, and this will list a bunch of MySQL extensions. But the one that I like is this one from Vijin Shen. So this has 1.6 million downloads and the rating is 4. So just click on install. If you want to update this later, just keep this checked. Or if you don't want to update this automatically, uncheck this and click on install. Once this is installed, you will see this boxy icon that represents a database. Click on this and you will see this option that says create connection. So you can close this now. And click on create connection and here we need to enter the details of our database server so i'll just give this a name local connection because i am connecting to my local database here and here we have the host name so if your database server is a remote server you'll have to enter the remote server's ip here if your database is hosted locally in your machine this is fine and then enter your username here root this is the default port Again, if this is different in your case, you need to enter your uh, port here. And this is the default port that MySQL uses. And then enter your password here. And now you can save this. And once this is saved, this will be shown here. Okay. Now, as you can see, inside this connection, we have our database here. So you can close this now because this is saved. Now, anytime you open and click on this database, you will see this database connection here. And if you click on this arrow next to it, you will see the database that are available for this user. And now you can just click on tables. And as you can see, there's only one table that is the new table. And once you click on this, this query will be automatically written that says select all from new table. And now you can click on this play button here that says execute SQL. And if you click on this, this query will be executed. And right now, as you can see, I have this ID name and address columns but there is no data in here so to insert data what you can do is click on this plus button here that helps you add another row so i'll just add a data quality let's call it one for id name can be test and the address can be earth okay okay my bad here you don't enter it here this is filter so whatever you write here will be appearing here so that you can filter according to this but if you want to insert double click here no not the filter above it double click here enter one double click here and give the name test and double click here and the address will be let's say earth and now we have this here and if you click on this this will be saved and now if we again remove this and run this query select all from new table as you can see all the data are available now again to add new new rows you can just click this plus again and here id will be two name can be test test two and location can be usa and click save again and this will be also saved so i can close this now and if i click this again as you can see the database will be shown with the current tables and if you want to check the structure of it you can just click on properties and as you can see, we have three columns. There is ID, name, and address. These are the types of data that this columns will hold. Yeah, so this is how you can connect to MySQL server and do queries on database tables. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.